the HPV FAQs thing is, I think, irrelevant to uh, irrelevant to what uh, uh, Families for Life is doing because Families for Life is really focusing on families and how we can support them and how we can help them navigate through times of dealing with stresses in life in terms of work-life balance and things like that. So, making comments or taking a position or a view on what's happening is not going to help anyone. No matter what, I think everyone is entitled to their own view and their own position. And I think for Families for Life, we just want to concentrate on being able to support families in all that they do. And families have more than enough on their plates nowadays. I mean, they're dealing with the stresses in the workplace, they're dealing with the education system, they're dealing with ageing parents, and, and they're just dealing with uh, the total busyness of life. So I guess we see ourselves trying to make ourselves relevant to in helping them navigate through all these things. Perhaps providing them with opportunities and ideas as to how they can spend more meaningful time with each other. Especially families who are really pressed for time. They're the families where the, the parents are holding two jobs. How do, how do they spend time with their kids? How do you spend time with your teenagers who are also grappling with all their homework and school life and all that? We don't have a definition. I don't think you can pigeonhole family. Because if you did that, you're sure to leave someone out. Family is, you know, the people around you, your father, mother, auntie, uncle, you know, or the people that you were raised with, the people who brought you up, the people who are there for you, your loved ones. There's no definition. They're the ones who really care for you. And I think that's our universe of what a family is. For some of us, our understanding will be more conventional because we grow up defining family by our own personal experiences. So if you've had a mother, father who's, who's there in the picture and you've got siblings, that will be in your own universe, your family. But if you were raised by your grandparents, most of the time, in your universe, your grandparents will be the ones who are very important in your life. They will be the family that's closest to you. So I, if, I think it would be unrealistic for Families for Life to be able to uh, pigeonhole what exactly a family is. A family is, you know, three cousins twice removed and all those in there. It, it, wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be practical. At heart, we still have very, very traditional Asian values which uh, underpin um, Singaporeans in general. I do think that um, Western media will make it appear to be more acceptable to the younger folk because they'll think that's the norm. But if we have a strong family, with strong family values, underpinning all that. I don't think the, the Western media will influence us so much. I think at the end of the day, we have to, each of us, we have to make our own decisions but it, and own value judgments. But a lot of times, it's, it's influenced by our own families, how we're brought up, and the value system that we've been exposed to. I think those, those influences uh, make a bigger impact on each of us individually. But if, as a family or as parents, you know, we bow out of that responsibility, well, there's a vacuum. Something has to fill that. I mean, as, as, as growing young people, we need examples. And that's where it will come in. That is where the weakness lies. But if we have a strong family structure, we will take the cue from that. And I think that's why we feel, you know, at Families for Life, that it's so important that we imbibe in everyone that a stronger sense of family what family means and what family is to each one of us.